Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. When Edith Schaefer, wife of Francis Schaefer, decided to write her book on the home, she chose a title put together by four words that form the searching question, what is a family? And then she set out in the chapter titles that would follow to answer that question. My favorite of her titles in chapters of the book, A Museum of Memories. Let me ask you, as you travel back to your original family, what pictures hang in the gallery of your mental images. Go back there. Revisit the scenes. What do you find in your museum of memories of your family? Are there tears that stain the windows you look through, brought about by pain? mistreatment, perhaps even uh, neglect, hunger. You may remember laughter that's now in the walls of your life. And from that, you have cultivated a life of joy and delight in living. Charles Dickens, for example, as he wrote David Copperfield, if you know the life of Dickens, you know that woven into the fabric of that story are scenes from his own painful and nightmarish past. Franz Kakfa, most notably in his work, The Metamorphosis, presents vivid expressions of a disjointed and unhappy and tumultuous childhood. As Ernest Hemingway reached later years, his biographer Carlos Baker writes of how he became more vulnerable regarding the truth concerning his own unhappy family and his hatred against his father. On the other hand, there are pleasant memories that many have. The late General Douglas MacArthur remembered through his years at West Point, and especially during the lonely years of his leadership in the Pacific front of the Second World War, the words of his father spoken to his mother without their knowing he heard them. When he was just a lad, his dad said to his mother, I think there is the material of a soldier in the boy. <laughs> Indeed. Perhaps the most tender come from Corey Ten Boom, who remembers her papa. Every night as she would go to sleep, she remembered his hand on her head as he prayed for her, always ending the time together with the four words, Corey, I love you. She said not even the horrors of a concentration camp at Ravensbrück could erase those memories. She was able to sleep by imagining her heavenly father's hand on her head, saying to her, Corey, I love you. It's often the seemingly insignificant things that we remember. The childhood memory of hearing those three simple words, I love you, can comfort and encourage us our whole life through. What kind of memories are you creating in your home? This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, What Families Need to Thrive, was copyrighted in 2005 
and this live track sound recording was copyrighted in 2013 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.